And welcome back, folks. Thanks for staying tuned. I've got Jeremy here with me from Galley Printing, yep. a family uh, started and grown business that he and his cousin uh, and now own and operate right here in the heart of Brunswick, you know, Medina County local himself. Hey, Jeremy, thanks for coming out yeah. today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you making time. I know yep. uh, there's probably no good time for uh, a man in your position running a company of uh, 18 or 20 to 30 folks yeah, all right around 18 20 some part-timers but yeah we we, we keep busy over all right there. We yeah keep you, busy. you got folks moving around all the time what's yeah. what's some things folks are working on right now for you uh, right now we actually have a large project in house for uh, Sherwin Williams yeah you know, the, the pride of Cleveland uh, we have a hundred thousand booklets in for Sherwin Williams right now a uh, nice 12 page uh, homeowner brochure that we're that we're printing uh, printing scoring and getting ready to start binding dang so. talk, talk about us uh, a, a big client yeah right out of the gate so yep. uh, with Sherwin Williams well I jumped the gun and 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 I was I mean, I've been talking for Jeremy for a minute so I got to know a little bit about his company I should probably tell you guys uh, so galley printing mm -hmm. and a family owned and family operated owned. Um, what's the history there uh, so the, the cool thing is, uh, my, my grandfather actually started in 1968. He started it in his uh, garage and basement. Oh, wow. So uh, up in up in Parma, um, grandfather started 1968. Dang. He's 92, going on 93. He uh, he still comes in to check in on me from is time that, to time. No kidding. Grandpa's, That's grandpa's, wild. He splits his time between Florida and Ohio. Good um, for him. But he's awesome. Gran Grandpa's awesome. Yeah. Ah, I can't believe the yeah. uh, original owner can come and see the yeah. operation at this point. So he's very proud to see it on the, yeah, very, very proud to see it on the three generations. And uh, honestly, it, it puts a smile on my face when I, when I see Grandpa still coming in. Okay. We still have one gentleman that works there that Grandpa, Grandpa actually hired. That is so uh, that that's that's always nice when they get to What's, see it. Uh, how long has that fellow been there? Oh, he's been there uh, longer than I've been what alive. What happens if he retires? What information leaves? I, that guy, I don't know if he ever will retire. <laughs> he, he loves it so much, but uh, he, he is towards the end. You know, he's on the back nine of his career there. Okay. But we, he might dwindle down and go into some part-time role for us. And uh, uh, we're actually looking to bring an apprentice on to, to start uh, learning from him. Oh, uh, what is it that in, guy does? In, in, he actually runs at one of our printing presses, uh, a big five-color Heidelberg. Okay. So all of our printing presses we actually buy from Germany in uh, Heidelberg, yeah. Germany. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very, yeah. Uh, very neat. Very, very neat state of the art. I've equipment. seen that name. Or yeah, Heidelberg. Yeah. Yep, Heidelberg. Yeah, yeah. and is yeah. that the name of the company as well? No. Uh, okay. With, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Heidelberg sells the presses, and that's yeah. the name of the the presses. So yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. Yeah, we have uh, we have two five color Heidelbergs in there, and then uh -huh. uh, I have a, a small two color Heidelberg in no. there. So we, we have we have three printing presses across the board. So in the 30,000 square foot facility you guys have right here mm -hmm. in Brunswick? Yeah, we got, yeah, yeah. Right here in Brunswick, 33,000 square feet, three printing presses in there. Uh, how, how new is that, when was that building built? My father built the building uh, 04, 05, and then uh, they moved in right around 06 or 07. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, he bought he bought the land here in Brunswick. He loved uh, he loved the area of Brunswick, and he, he moved the company down here out of North Royalton. So okay, they were in a smaller shop up in North Royalton, and, and my dad moved it down here. And where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in Medina. Went to Medina. Went to Medina High School. Graduated in 2011. Um, oh, nice. College wasn't really for me, and I I've been working at the print shop ever since. The the, the funny thing is, actually, when I was born, they actually took me to the print shop almost before they even took me home. There's there's pictures of pressmen holding me right next to a printing press at five. So you were kind of bred for this. Yeah, literally. Like the, the, the ink is in my in my skin. As okay. You say. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I love it. Um, uh, like I said, my grandfather started it, passed it down to my father. Uh, unfortunately, my father actually passed away when I was in high school, but uh, my, my mom took over the reins of it. And then uh, my cousin and I uh, acquired it from her in 2019. So your mom was running it. And she wasn't an heir descendant, but stepped in, stepped as, in when, as your when, dad. Yeah, when my wow, father Wow, that's away, pretty yeah. impressive. So yeah, what kind my, of woman is his mom? Uh, my mom's a trooper. Uh, she, she's awesome. Uh, my mom was with my dad for a long time, and my father was actually paralyzed. So my dad actually ran that printing company from a wheelchair. So I, I saw how hard my dad worked and everything he went through in his life, and there's no reason for me not to be able to continue on in his legacy, my grandfather's legacy, and uh, that's keep it neat. going. I mean, I... I, I love it. I mean, I, it's it's hard yeah. to explain, but it's what I do. It's, yeah, it's, it's what, it's what I do. You know. I, I have a lot to uh, a lot of people to look up to, and uh, yeah, I have two aunts that work there as well. So it truly is a a family company family business. Uh, so I assume to last as long, you know that many decades and and 
that's really going to be cool to be running it at your century mark. Yeah. Uh, but there's had to be some evolution in what you guys do or how you do it. Yes. Uh, since your grandfather. So what was maybe his specialty compared to where you guys are at today? Uh, just size wise. I mean, uh, my dad took on a, my dad never said no. So that's where I kind of learned the never say no mentality. And, you know, customer calls at three o'clock on a Friday. Hey, can I have this 8 a.m. Monday? Yep, we'll get it. We don't mind working weekends. We, we work a lot of Saturdays and I, ha I have some I have some very good employees and yeah. and they see how hard I work and they respect it. And I respect them. And, and we, we have a good we have a good working relationship. That's cool. And I'm assuming, you know, you said you went there kind of after high school full time. But I, I would bet afternoons, evenings, weekends, summer. You probably spent a few. Uh, oh, my, my my summers, yeah, my summers. A lot of them were in, at the, at our old shop. It had a basement, and uh, oh, a, lot, that a right? lot of my summers, I was in the dungeon down. Is down there, there anything that you don't know how to do in that print shop? Uh, I don't know how to run the main presses, but I I know enough to be dangerous. Okay. Um, but actually, when I first started there out of high school, I I, I cut paper for seven eight years. Really? I, I cut large sheets of paper every day. I cut live jobs, so I. That's the hardest job in there. It's straight manual labor every every day. You're, oh li you're lifting big sheets of paper. I mean, you're cutting 40,000, 60,000 sheets of paper a day. It's you know what? That sounds so neat. I mean, how many I people have you ever talked to that know what it's like to, to sit here? And, yeah, and, and the cool thing is, so in the summer, you know, in high school, and a lot of my friends were in college, we would give them summertime jobs. Oh, I'm so sure. So a lot of my friends actually know a little bit about the uh, the printing that makes industry. Sense. One of my best friends moved up to Michigan, and he was dating a girl from Saginaw, and he met the family, and, and uh, they were like, "Well, well, we own a printing company. You probably don't know anything about that." My buddy goes, "Funny thing <laughs> is, I've worked at a printing company for four yeah. years in the summer, so <laughs> it's just funny how you, you know, couldn't get away from yeah, it. Yeah, you know, like." Whenever I go to a doctor's office or like a restaurant, the first thing I do is I pick it up and I start looking at the printing, you know. Oh, I'm sure. My mom will be like, what are you doing? Or, you know, my girlfriend will be like, what are you doing? I'm looking at the fold. I'm looking at it. Just, it's what it's, you it's do. what I do, you know. It's I'm, you I'm feeling the paper. How's this, how's this hey. deal? Now, that's awesome because, you, you know what? I don't know. I mean, somebody, ha somebody needs to be the person, so why not be you, right? Yeah. Sounds like y'all got a heck of an operation going on over there. Yeah, and uh, one thing we really pride ourselves on is uh, helping out nonprofit organizations. Okay. Uh, it's one thing we always, we do a lot for nonprofits in Cleveland, you know what? Yeah. Akron. Do you? Yeah. I should, um, you know, some of the groups around here need to make sure they know that. So uh, t uh, give us your address real quick, and, and you got, if you got anything you want to throw out yeah. there to the crowd. Address is uh, 2892 Westway Drive. It's right here in Brunswick, Ohio, right off of uh, 303 and uh, West 130th. Big industrial building back there. Big old red building. You can't, okay. you, you can't miss it back there. And, and so can folks actually come there and order things? Oh, yeah, you, you, can, you can walk right in the door. Can, uh, I can show you around the plant. We, you need business cards, pamphlets. Uh, we actually really, really just got into T-shirts. So uh, we do T-shirts now as well. Um, nice. We, we, we don't really say no. And we, that's one nice thing we like, we like to you know, have a wide variety. You know, we're, we're a one-stop shop. You come in, we figure out, a way to, uh, figure out a way to get it done. Nice, I like it. So if you've got printing needs, Galley Printing right here in Brunswick, Family owned, operated, 1968. 1968. Got roots in the community, folks. Uh, so give them a shout, give them a try. I know they'll take care of it. Jeremy, thank yep. you so much for Appreciate your time. It. Thank you. Thank Look you for having to me. getting to know you more. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. And, and folks, that's it for us with the Northern Madonna County Chamber Alliance Buzz on Business. We are out of here.